Yeah, I played uh I played college basketball all four years. Um uh my senior year that's when I tore my ACL. Um so not my junior year, that's some when players I tore my ACL. That, that that went to the are going to the NBA or maybe or something like that, right? So yeah, cool. yeah. Um I played with Davon Davon Coleman. Uh he was the number one recruit in the uh uh, in the nation, I think my my junior year in high school, Tyler Kavanaugh, Javar Kinsey, nice. uh, played with Tobias Harris. Uh, those you know those guys are pretty good. You know Tobias, is, you know obviously in the NBA. Um, but yeah, just a couple of names I play with Shaquille Johnson. Uh, but yeah, and when I when I tore my ACL, I just kind of you know took a Took a backseat to a lot of things, and you know, focused a lot on the game, really, and mm-hmm. found a passion for it. And, you know, uh, basketball is just you know just a passion for me, in general. So, the game was kind of easy transition. Nice. I, noticed, I noticed last year they um they put those questions like those IQ questions in the uh in the combine like right before like that combine application. And they yeah. had you like answer, you know, what what is this? You know, how many seconds can you be back court? What's the back court? What's the front court? And it was kind of mm-hmm. like challenging your uh, IQ. So, yeah. uh, like, uh, it showed right there that they wanted someone who had like kind of like the basic That's knowledge of the game, game, no matter how good you were. Uh, they wanted that uh, that transition right there, and you know that that could play against you if you didn't get those questions. Right. What's up, guys? This is your host, Slaps6GL, the 6GL Finest Show, and I'm here with your boy, Ayo Deadshot, at Deadshot underscore 2K on Twitter and Twitch, twitch.tv slash it's Deadshot. What's up, Deadshot? How's it going tonight? What's going on, man? How you guys doing? Not bad, man. Not bad. Glad to have you on the show. And we wanted to talk about a few things. We know you come from Vada Gaming, and you've also played with a few other big teams throughout the uh, the 2K co- uh, competitive community. And we wanted to dive in deep because we got some stuff coming in on a rebranding coming from Vada Gaming. Do you have anything to speak on that, Deadshot? Uh, we we just kind of we kind of just looking for something new. Uh, we've been gathering a lot of pieces. Uh. And we just wanted, you know, a new outlook on things and, you know, uh, give ourselves, like, a new identity. Um, we haven't really, you know, picked a name or anything, but we're searching. There you go. There you go. Well, awesome. You know what? You guys had a, a, a little slow to the start to the season but finished off with a bang. And now you guys are in the 6GL uh, Season 6 playoffs in Round 2. And you guys are ready to face your next opponent. Where we're having some trusty vibes from Trust IQ because, you know, the band console went on, but the bands have lifted off for a lot of players. So now we have a game going on, and let's see if Trust IQ is going to take that matchup or let Vada Gaming sled on to the semifinals to face the winner out of Reloaded and Good Vibes Only. Now, what kind of steps are you, you guys taking and you yourself as a player in order to facilitate some wins? Is there any gameplay footage that you're looking at? Are you guys hitting extra practices? What are you guys doing? Uh, when we look at film, we, we usually, you know, look at film before we talk about anything or any other team. Uh, and we, we really try to focus on, you know, the, uh, the point guard really. Um, and if, I feel like if our, if our pick and roll defense is, you know, up to par and we, you know, lock in and, and that and swing for each other, I feel like, you know, it's an easy game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Easy game. Awesome, and and I understand that uh, that you come from a, a big a big setting of uh, a, a basketball background, where that's been your main sport, not only just on 2K, but you have a little bit of a background story for yourself, where you've actually went through some uh, high school ball and some college ball, and that's kind of further drove you into the passion and the love of playing 2K. Would you like to mm-hmm. speak a little bit on uh, on some of your college ball moments and that aspect of level that you can bring to the gameplay in the competitive environment of 2K? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, from high school to college, you know, I've always been a captain of my team. Always, you know, pri- uh, you know, uh, held myself to a standard as far as, like, leadership. Um, I feel like that and just my IQ for basketball in general just – you know, was transferable to this game in 2K, and it's been helping me a lot. You know, uh, I think my adaptability 
as far as, you know, being able to play with different people and different personalities in real life has helped me, you know, in those situations in the game. And, you know, it's, it's helped me thrive. Okay, cool. And, and and I'd like to, we were talking a little bit of here before the interview and uh, you were talking about some big names that you played with and uh, you came in and you brought up Tobias Harris. Come on, speak a little bit on that. That's a big name to be brought up by and uh, obviously you've got some basketball knowledge from one of the basketball gods himself. So go ahead and uh, and speak on, uh, on your moments playing on the court with Tobias Harris. Yeah, so I actually played with Tobias like at a camp. Uh, it was a lot of big names there. Uh, Shaquille Johnson, I don't know if you guys know him. He was a pretty mm-hmm. big name back then. Uh, Daywan Coleman, Tyler Kavanaugh, mm-hmm. uh, some some other big names I play with. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I just saw how different, like, the game was. Uh, you know, going in, you know, you, you hear about these players and you play with them and you, you don't really get to, like, really experience until you're, like, you know, on the floor with them. Mm-hmm. And and being on the floor with those guys is just a, you know, a totally different experience. And I feel like that in 2K has the similarities mm-hmm. because, you know, you, you can play, you can play rec or you can play, you know, just pro-am, but until you know, you know, match up with those guys and on the same floor with those big name teams, you don't really know the feeling. And I feel like that was, you know, really relatable. What's, 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 what's really cool is, uh, as I see uh, a lot of uh, Vati Gaming really making a brand for themselves out there, so I'm really curious to see what this uh, this rebrand has in store for you guys. But what I really wanted to uh, to talk about here, Deadshot, is you have dreams of making the 2K League. And like you were just talking just right there of getting on the court with Tobias Harris at camp and a lot of those big names, there is levels to this stuff. And what kind of things are, are, are you putting in place um, and steps are you taking towards to getting these levels so that you can prove yourself to the 2K League that you are the next talent coming into the uh, NBA 2K League for season four or season five. Um, I'm 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 a realist, so uh, I I really I really look at you know players who are uh you know who are top players and and players who who've already you know been through this process like Day Fry, mm-hmm. uh, Goofy, people who've been through this and I and I really study them. And, and see see the things I can add to my game and see what they're doing that I, maybe I'm not doing. And, you know, I'm, I'm just real with myself. Um, you know, if I have to work on something, I'll, I'll work on it. If I have to, you know, play matchups or tens all day to make sure I get it right, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, so me just being prepared for that moment and when I match up against those guys, just bringing my best foot forward and uh, showing who I am Okay, is a big part for me. I'm going to throw you a little bit of a curveball here because I wouldn't be a good host if I didn't throw you a curveball. So let's say you're on the court in a tight game situation and you guys are down by three. It's the fourth quarter. There's three minutes left. What's the biggest thing for you, yourself, and a team that you guys can come together and do in order to facilitate a dub? Uh, Down by three, four minutes left in the fourth? Yes. Okay. Um. I feel like I feel like um, in those situations, that's that's when the pressure is on. That's when people really show who they really are. Mm-hmm. Uh, in those type of situations, I feel like you just stay composed and you know uh, practice the stuff you know that you're uh, you've been doing. You know, people get flustered and you know tight when those situations come and they and they don't play like themselves. I feel like when that when when those situations arrive, you know, just stay the course. It's the reason you're there, and, uh, you know, uh, keep moving forward with the things you've been doing. Hey, and you nailed that one 100% spot on. The answer was composure. The answer was composure. So Deadshot got it right, and you heard it first here. Your host, the Slap 6GL, the 6GL Finest Show with Deadshot. Hey, yo, Deadshot on PSN, the one and only, the 2K God at Deadshot underscore 2K on Twitter. And don't forget to follow, like, and maybe subscribe on twitch.tv forward slash it's Deadshot, two underscores right at the end. I appreciate you coming by, Deadshot, and uh, I would like to see some more of your action out on the gaming court. Come for the semifinals. So let's see how you guys vibe through round two. All right, see you out there.